Hey there, boys and girls. How's it all going out there? Like, subscribe, drop me a comment. Uh, the topic I want to talk about today is pretty tragic. Um, you know, I, I feel bad when, when people have to go through certain uh, devastations, nature, whatnot. This wasn't exactly nature that happened. Um, so in Surfside, Miami, Florida, or not Miami, Florida, but Surfside, Florida, it's down on the tip, you know, look at a map. It's just a small little condominium type of community, kind of like one of those cool little hangout spots to go to the beach and whatnot. Well, I guess... There was, uh, just looking at just some of the clips that have come out recently. Um, this happened like at 2 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time over there down in Florida, Surfside, Florida. And what happened was a condominium, uh, part of the building all of a sudden collapsed. And supposedly they were doing roofing work or whatnot. Now, being a lifelong roofer and person in construction, working with the Army Corps of Engineers, um, FEMA, and all the other other like religious groups and whatnot that that help devastated areas, I've been on them here in Alaska, up in Eagle, um, building new clinic uh, floor for a temporary clinic when Eagle had their devast, uh, Yukon River wiped out the historic village there. And, uh, man, I got a lot of pictures from that, but it, it's always hard knowing that there's people involved. There's, a a person, Nicholas Balboa, that was visiting his parents. He was at his dad's house just a block away when it happened. He was walking his dog at two in the morning, which, you know, Animals got to go up and go pee in the middle of the night sometimes. I got animals. Anyways, out there. he, Him and another bystander, I guess, uh, found the 10-year-old boy that had his fingers sticking out of of uh, some of the rubble um, and was able to locate him and whatnot because uh, the, even some of the first responders were barely even there when this was going on. So... Uh, always a tragedy when that happens, uh, lives are lost, you know, you, you, two in the morning most, but you know, I'm going to say over 90% of the people, normal people are, uh, in bed and sleeping and, you know, got work the next day or doing whatever, vacation, whatnot, nothing good happens after 2 a.m., right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like always uh, sunny in Philadelphia said in there. Uh, I think it was. Or no, it wasn't sunny in Philadelphia. I, my bad. My bad on that one. That was the show uh, How I Met Your Mother. I think it was in the first season where it's like nothing good happens after 2 a.m. Or something like that. But anyways, obviously that was the case here. Now... As far as being a industrial, commercial, residential, every type of roofing system there is, other than, you know, I haven't done a, a lot of work like stucco homes where we got the, the tile shingles and stuff. Very well versed in, in work on roofs. And this, to me... It could be pure coincidence, but it looks to me like there was a little demolition or something. Something wasn't either built right in the foundation because that collapse had nothing to do with roofing. I could tell you that much. Whether there was work going on on the roof previous to that or whatnot, that had nothing to do with the collapse of that part of the building. So it... It just drew a few questions in my mind. In my mind. 
Because, you know, I got a brain. It doesn't rattle around in here. It's not smooth. It's all wrinkly and shit and got all sorts of information in it. But, uh, some questions arose in my mind about who lives in that building. Because it seems like there's been a lot of shit going down in Florida and uh, some of the areas. Uh, you had the Father's Day mass shooting. You know, there's a lot of assholes out there that rather pick up a gun instead of having a normal confrontation and talking with each other. You know, like real men and real people do and real women do. So it, it just drew a few questions in my mind of who actually lived in that certain complex. Because it seems like a lot of people tied with the Clintons and whatnot. You know, I don't I don't care if I get banned or whatnot, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it fucking sucks. I get a second strike. I'm going to be out for a couple weeks. But, yeah. Just raised a few questions. It's all, all allegedly. <laughs> I'm not accusing anybody of anything. But it seems really weird and obnoxious at the same time that these Democrats, these lefties, and these liberals, you know, it seems like every time someone's got some dirt on them, people disappear. And it, it seems like Florida with DeSantis all of a sudden being the governor and erasing that seat. CRTs, the critical race theory out of schools. Uh, Got to teach patriotism and true history of what happened. You know, that's a that's a whole nother fucking ball game. But it kind of all all you know coincidentally kind of ties in the stuff. I mean, this whole this could have been, uh, you know, it wasn't the newest building in the world but it wasn't the oldest building in the world if you catch my drift and it, it's kind of weird i want to know who lived in that building that that condo complex where just only one part of it came down and there's a lot of people missing of course you know it's in the middle of the fucking night you know, who knows what there, there hasn't been anything about booms or explosions or what the fuck. Something just doesn't feel right about it. Just doesn't feel right about it. So with everything going on with mass shootings and shit all of a sudden in Florida. And Miami and other parts of Florida. Um... Where I know they still got some democratic little areas and whatnot. I'm not. I'm not blaming the Democrats. I'm not even uh, accusing or pointing fingers. But it always seems allegedly <laughs> that the Clintons are always involved with dirt on them and <clears throat> Brock. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. It just seemed a little weird to me. I'm in the middle of uh, getting the rest of this afternoon. It's been a little cloudy out. Get some planting, some dirt moved, whatnot. But I uh, just wanted to touch base on that, see how this unfolds. And uh, it's always a tragedy when uh, innocent civilians and people alike are caught in these type of tragedies and it almost seems like a demolition is what happened so it'll be curious to see who lived in that part of the complex of that condo that came down because it's kind of just a, the surf side is only a couple mile little stretch little condominium community and probably a really nice part of the beach and private areas to go to so be interesting to see how this all turns out and you know all these conspiracy theories that keep coming true because oh my god they got receipts and facts to back them up so till next time like subscribe drop me a comment tell me what you think shadow bands do exist and uh we'll see you next time